Good day everyone, it's me again, Sir Amber, your instructor in subject mathematics in the modern world with plain trigonometry. And before we continue our discussion, I just want to, to thank for supporting my YouTube account, for subscribing and... Uh, yeah, for subscribing and I hope sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe, mag-subscribe na po kayo because we are now 100 plus uh, mathematicians sa aking YouTube account. So, without further ado, let's continue our discussion. So, last meeting, during our online live, uh, online live, online class discussion through the Google Meet, we've discussed there the different or the conversions of English expression to mathematical sentences and vice versa. So, yon. So, I discuss ko kung how, how to, how to translate and what are the proper words to be used para yung, uh, yung statements is, uh, it will become similar, very similar to the, um, mathematical expressions na gina, uh, nagagawan natin ng statement and vice versa. Kasi there are some uh, some words na hindi naman kailangan na it, it will give uh, different meaning and different answers. So, yan. So, na-topic natin yan and discuss also the five operations which we frequently used in converting mathematical expressions to mathematical uh, English expressions to mathematical sentence so we have five including the equal sign okay and excluding the exponential notation or the exponentiation and what are those we have the addition the subtraction the multiplication and the division tapos yung equal sign sinabi natin so those are the terms used ayan sa inyong screen nakikita niya yan and sa Edmodo class naman natin at sa mga nag-join sa aking online class um, noon ano, last ano, nung last na discussion natin uh, inisa-isa po natin tong mga to okay and also we discuss the the uh, uh, we give I'll give you an example on how we use the words na nandito okay using uh, which is given na ang expression or equi uh, yeah, mathematical expression tapos kinonvert natin at may mga common errors tayong na meet or yan yeah, pag-aralan wherein if we will commit this error it will give us it's either wrong grammar or in grammarly incorrect it will give uh, it will give us also different meaning and different answer so yon before we before we um, unto, um translate some mathematical expression let's see to it yung mga gagamitin natin or yung mga words no na gagamitin natin kasi baka yung ginagamit is, is different or it will give different meaning yung ginagamit pala natin so hindi naman maganda yon also ayan so diyan for addition subtraction for multiplication and division. So, yan yung mga discuss natin. Now, we've discussed also co a, com a combined mathematical statements. Ano to? Word, kung dito, isang operation lang ang ginagamit, ang ginamit, dito naman, dalawang operation ang ginamit. For example, the for, for our first, uh, first mathematical statement, we used addition and division. So, dalawang expression or dalawang operation yung ginamit natin. And we've made, make a English translation. For example, dyan. Pwede mong sabihin dyan na 6 plus 2 all over 4 is equal to 2. Why I use all over and not over? Kasi sabi ko, ha, if all over, dapat lahat mayroong fraction bar. Kasi pag over lang, meaning, parang to, 6 plus 2 over 4, it will give different meaning or different answer because yung over 4 ay nandoon lang sa tapat ni 2. Pero pag all over, si 6 may over 4, si 2 may over 4. Gets? Ganun po yun. Kaya, yung 6 plus 2 over, two, uh, over 4 is equal to 2 is wrong. 
Okay, it will give you different meaning and different answer, which is not two. Your answer would be 13.5, uh, I think. Oh, no, 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 13 point over 2. Let's see. 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 oh, over 4. It will give you 13 over 2 as quotient. Okay, kaya, instead of using over, we will use all over. Okay, or the sum of 6 and 2. Sum, meaning, i-add mo muna. Okay, all over 4 is 2. Pwede rin po yan. Now, ganun po yan, ha? Um, think, oh, uh, no, 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 or, yeah. Um, used the proper over and overall na word depende sa given equation. For our next example naman, we have 6 times uh, 6 times the quantity of 12 minus 4. Ayun kasi pag sa amin na kasi naman, yung mga ano na, yung mga bihasa, or hindi naman sa totally bihasa pag kami na talaga, pag binabasa na namin, syempre sa, sa math po kasi, sa math class, nagkakaintindihan na po yan, wrong grammar man o hindi. Pero dito kasi, what I we trying to, to focus here is to the proper usage of translating some mathematical expression correctly. Pero honestly, hindi naman sa lahat ng pagkakataon ay ganun uh, tama or yung pagbigkas natin or yung, yung, uh, yung translation natin. Parang kami, okay? Pwede yung sabihin dyan na 2 times the quantity, which is the parenthesis, 2 times the quantity of 14 ay 12 minus 4 is equal to 16. Pwede kong sabihin yon. So, pwede rin kasing na twice the difference of 12 and 4 is 16. Bakit twice? From the uh, from the number 2 there. Twice. 2 times mo daw, i-multiply yung difference ng 12 and 4. Bakit difference? Because we are getting the answer of subtraction. Subtraction? Subtraction. Which is 12 minus 4 is 8. Yan. And 8, tapos sabi doon twice. So, 8 times 2, 16. Yan. Pero kapag ginamitan naman natin ng word na double, it will give different meaning. Because double and twice is uh, two different, uh, it, it will give differ, two different meanings. Yung twice, meaning two times, ang magiging, eh, multiply mo yung number ng two. While dun sa double, dodoblehin mo. You will multiply the given number on itself. So, it will give different meaning because if you double 8, which is 12 minus 4, which is 8, if you double 8, it will give you an answer of 64 and not 16. Okay? So, yun yung pagkakaiba ng double at saka twice. Next. Also, we have kung kanina... Um, basic mathematical statement lang One operation, two operations Ngayon naman Algebraic statements So sa algebraic statements Bakit sinabi algebraic? Kasi may mga uh, variables na Yan, Sa algebra, ganyan Algebra is uh, composed of many, many, many variables So yun So algebraic statements So uh, by applying this concept to, uh, to algebra We use the English translation of the variable As the number or a number the following are useful. So, back sa, sa algebra po kasi, sa pag, uh, pag mga variables ang pinag-uusapan, ang term namin sa kanila is a number or the number. Why? Sa algebra, always ang value ng x or any any English alphabet are unknown. Si x, unknown, hindi mo alam yung variable or n, hindi mo alam yung variable. Hindi mo alam yung, yung hindi mo alam yung um, value ni x, kaya ang term natin sa kanya is a number or the number. Okay. Until such time, makuha natin yung value ni x. So, for example, 2x is equal to 14. Diba? Pag, ay, pag, uh, pag yung mga Lehman's term lang natin, eh, 2x is equal to 14. Kahit din naman kami, 2x is equal to 14. Yung uh, ginag, uh, term namin na ginagamit. So, pwede natin sabihin na twice a number is equal to 14. Twice a number. Ano yung a number? X. Bakit a number yung term? Kasi hindi natin alam yung value ni X. Pero pag isolve mo na yan, makukuha mo yung value ni X, which is uh, 7. 
Okay? Yun lang po yun. Pero hindi naman kailangan na kunin yung sagot kasi we're just converting. Converting mathematical statements sa, or algebraic statements into English translation. Conversion lang ginagawa natin. Hindi natin kailangan isolve. So, yun. Pwede rin 2 times a number. 2 times mo daw, 2, yun, yung twice, which is 2, 2 times mo daw yung number, na, which is x. Kung y yan, di a number then the number, gan ganon It doesn't matter if kung anong English alphabet ang gagamitin mo. Pero lahat yon sa mathematics, variable ang tawag doon. Pwedeng A, B, C, A to Z, pwede yon So, pwedeng 2 times a number is 14. Okay, next one. Ayan, 3 times the quantity. Ayan, pag sa apag babasahin ko yan, without looking at the English translation, pwede kong sabi na 3 times the quantity of 2x minus 1 is equal to 4. O, di ba, wala naman doon sa choices. So, magiging, pero the proper translation would be thrice the difference of twice a number and 1 is 4. Okay, thrice, which is 3. Kung yung 2 is twice, sa 3, thrice. Okay, thrice, the difference of twice a number and 1. Yung 2x minus 1 sa loob, difference kasi we, uh, we use the the subtraction uh, ito. We use subtraction here. Kaya difference. Thrice, the difference, ayan, ito, dito. Difference of twice a number and 1 is 4. Ayan. Or, 3 multiplied to the difference of twice a number less 1 is 4. Okay, yun, yun, yun yung mga right term or right prop or proper translation doon sa algebraic statements na nandyan. Pero sa akin, sabi ko nga, pagbasahin ko yan, 3 times the quantity of 2x minus 1 is equal to 4. So, good morning. So, hindi naman yun applicable to all. Okay. So, this is just the, the proper translation ng, ng algebraic expressions or algebraic statements into English. So, next one. Dito naman, division naman. Mayroon siyang fraction bar. The ratio. So, the ratio. Kasi ratio... Pag may makita ka yung, uh, pag, ma, pag nabanggit yung ratio, yung expression or yung statement ay isang fraction. May fraction bar. The ratio of twice, ano yan? Twice, kaya 2, twice the sum of a number, which is x. Hindi natin alam. Kaya a number. The ratio, this fraction bar, of twice a number, ano, ah, no, no, no. The ratio of twice the sum of a number and 1 and 3, kasi ratio na given na yung 3, is equal to 5. Or, pwede rin, uh, sa akin naman, pwede kong basahin ng uh, twice the sum of a number and 1 all over 3 is equal to 5. Why I use all over, not over? Kasi, all over, panlahatan dapat. Lahat may, may kasama sa fraction. Bar. Yung numerator mo is to lahat. Kasi, pag over, 3 lang, ang mayroong, uh, ang mayroong over or mayroong fraction bar ay si 1. Okay? Pwede, kaya, pwede rin, the, ayun. So, twice, the, uh, twice the sum of a number and 1 all over 3 is equal to 5. Okay. Ano pa ba? Um, ano pa ang pwedeng ano, uh, gamitin natin? So, pwede rin na twice. Ayan. Ayan. So, yon yung mga pwede rin gamitin. Na English translation dito sa given. Okay. So, sa, sa quiz ninyo or sa activity nyo, marami akong na... Uh, I will be giving you some uh, mga ganyan activities or mga ganyan na equations. It's either I will give an English translation and you will be the one to convert 
in a mathematical statement or algebraic statement and or or I will be giving you mathematical or algebraic statement and you will be the one to convert it through in English English okay. and so let's move on to another topic and now we will be discussing the four basic concepts of mathematics ano kaya yung mga yun? aside from the four uh, mathematical operations meron tayong basic concepts sa math first one we have set set okay a set is a collection of well-defined objects that contains no duplicates no duplicates the object in the set are called the elements of the set to describe a set we use braces and use capital letters to represent it okay ang set ay collection ng mga object well defined object na hinahanap at ang tawag sa sa number na mga ng mga set an uh, aya yeah, tawag do sa mga set na sa loob ng set ay elements na ginagamitan ng ginagamitan ng braces Okay, yung may ganun. That's braces. For example, paano i-represent? Uh, paano ba natin gagamitin ang set? The book in the shelves in the library. So, set of books in the library. So, pwede kapag we are, uh, if we are looking the sets of books in the library, pwede sabihin na sa loob ng uh, uh, braces na yon, we can use, we can say, uh, we can input there, ano pa ba yung mga set? Uh, we have History books, ay history, English, mathematics book, mga ganon. So, no duplication. Walang nauulit. Next, we have also the bank account, ay the bank accounts in a bank. Bakit pwede? Kasi wala namang naduduplicate na bank accounts, di ba? All the bank account numbers or bank accounts are unique diyan pare-parehas magkakaibang mga bank accounts. Ayun. So, set of natural numbers. What are natural numbers? We have 1 2 3 and million and million and millions. Yeah, those are natural numbers. Ito, um the integer numbers. Bakit may negative? Because a negative number is an integer. Okay? Natural numbers are 1 2 3 and so on and so forth and integers it's either a negative number, a zero, and a positive numbers. Those are integers. Ang counting numbers is 1, 2, 3. Ang integers, 0, 1, 2, 3, or negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Those are the difference between a natural number and an integer. Now, the rotation numbers is the set of, the, uh, the rational numbers of the set of quotients of integers. Ayan, so ganyan na. Ayan. So next, the three dots in enumerating the elements of the set are called ellipses and indicating a continuing pattern. A finite set contains element that can be continued and terminates at certain natural number. Otherwise, it is infinite set. So, dito, yung tatlo dito na dot. Ayan. For example, nito. Ang tawag dito is ellipses, meaning infinite siya. Maraming maraming. Hindi siya um, more, more, more. My forever. Kung mga ganon. So, ang tawag dito is ellipses. Ayan siya. Three dot. Pero kapag merong hangganan, syempre, finite ang term natin sa kanya. Pero pag may dot, dot, dot na sa uli, meaning infinite. Pag wala, pag na-close agad-agad yan, uh, finite siya. May example pa dahi dito? Ah, meron siguro mama. Ayan. So, special specification of sets, we have three ways to specify set. First one is the list notation or the roster method. By listing all, all its members, list names of elements of a set, separate them by commas and enclose them in braces. So, list from the word list. Listing, nililista mo lang, nilalagay mo lang yung mga hinahanap na elements. For example, ayan, George. George Washington, Bill Clinton, mga ah, ganon. So, sino ba? For example, um, president, the uh, presidents of the Republic of the Philippines. So, from 
the first president up to the present president, pwede mong ilagay yun. List lang. We're just listing. Okay? So, as you can see din, walang dat, 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 tatlo kasi may hangganan naman eh. Okay? So, pwede din ilagay na from Emilio Aguinaldo next to kung sino mo sumang kay Emilio hanggang kay uh, Rodrigo Duterte, pwede yun. As list, sa under sa list notation. Pwede rin sabihin na um, uh, list of English alphabet. So, from A to Z. Ayan. So, yung three dots dito sa example number number four, may three dots dito naman, pwede mong gamitin yan. Pero, hindi porket may three dots, dito sa gitna ay infinite siya. No po. Finite po siya. Bakit? May umpisa at may hangganan, which is one and one hundred. Okay? Pinaikli lang yung pagsusulat or pag, uh, paglilist doon sa elements. As, uh, instead of writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 99, 100, so nilagay na lang dot, 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 now which is my end point na 100. Kapag yung dot, dot, dot nasa dulo, meaning, pwede siyang infinity, infinite numbers. Pero pag yung dot, 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 or yung ellipsis is at the middle, tapos may makikita kang um, first element and last element, meaning, uh, it is finite number. Okay. We have also predicate notation or rule method or set builder notation. By stating a property of, of its element, it has the property that the members of the set share or a condition or predicate which hold the members of the set. So, dito is may mga conditions na din. Okay. May mga rules. Kaya rule, method. Or may mga conditions siyang hinahanap. So, for example, x element of x ayan we're in uh, x is a natural number and x is less than 8 okay it's such that the set of all x the set of all x such that x is a natural number and x is less than 8 ito siya x ayan the element of x or the set of all x such that x is a natural number and x is less than 8 so, pe, ano yung mga numbers ng, na x? Ano yung, ah, meron na siyang rule. Or meron siyang, meron siyang property or condition na hinahanap. Ito daw, ang mga number daw, na, ang set daw ng number na to ay mga natural number na yung x ay mas maliit kesa, ah, less, mas konti, or mas maliit na number hangga ah, kesa 8. So what are the numbers since we are uh, we don't know the value of x so what are the numbers or natural numbers that um less than 8 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 why because 1 is less than 8 2 is less than 8 3 is less than 8 4 is less than 8 5 is less than 8 6 is less than 8 and 7 is less than 8. Hindi pwedeng 8 is less than 8 because 8 is equal to 8. Hindi pwedeng 9 kasi hindi naman tama na 9 is less than 8. It must be 9 is greater than 8. So from 1 to 7, those are the natural numbers less than 8. Ganun po yun. May, may rule at mayroong uh, may condition na hinahanap that is predicate notation okay so dito the set of all x such that x is a letter to rational alphabet so ano nga ba yung mga rational alphabet we don't i don't know also yung mga rational alphabet because i'm not a rational next we have also recursive by defining the set rules which generates it a diff uh, yan Recursive, yan, recursive, hindi na siya pa-element style, hindi siya pa-element, hindi na may parenthesis, may braces, ganon. So, by defining a set of rules which generates or defines its members, for example, the set of E, the set E of even numbers greater than 3. So, 4 is greater than E. Uh, yung ano kasi dito, yung mga yung tawag dito nawala-wala kasi yung ano lang dito yung 
uh, mga symbols if x to, if x is greater than 3 then x plus 2 is greater ano no, even number set of e of even numbers greater than 3 so dito basta ang recursive is may mga uh, may mga may generate uh, nagde-generate na ng definition so meron siyang tatlo or it's it depends kung ilan yung magiging uh, rules na ibinibigay okay so that's those are the three specifications or yeah madami madaming kind of set pero ito yung mga main na ginagamit natin we have the list notation we have the predicate and we have the recursive Ayan. so those are that is the first in the four basic concept of mathematics that is set next let's let's move on to relations relation ayan relation what is relation relation is a rule that pairs each element in one set called the domain and one or more than elements are uh, more than elements from a second set called the range it generates a set of ordered pairs so relation a relation is composed of pairs or ordered pairs yes um honestly ang sa isang relasyon pares yan okay pair uh yeah may partner yan ang isang relasyon ganun din po sa relation sa mathematics dapat pair ordered pair what are what are the ordered pair we have the x and we have the y okay ang tawag sa x is noon uh, noon ang tawag sa x is uh, ordinate tsaka abscissa, di ba? Yun yung first na tawag natin sa noon. Yung ab ordinate, yung x, tsaka yung y is abscissa. Ngayon naman, napalitan na siya. Ang ginagamit, ginagamit natin na term for uh, the ordered pair x and y, we have the domain, which is x, and then the range, which is y. Yan po yun. Okay. So, any ang relation is combination of set kahit limang ordered pair yan we can call it a relation we have 1 and 2 3 and 4 4 and 1 6 and 2 7 and 8 uh, basta nag pair 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 siya tapos may mga parentheses yun yung relation yan those are relation um it creates a set of ordered pairs that is relation for example, yan o, oh, ayan, given, regular holiday in the Philippines, tapos month and date. New Year's Day, yung unang, uh, ang una, tapos yung pares niya is January 1. Labor Day, May 1, Independence Day, June 12, Bonifacio Day, November 30, and Rizal Day, December 30. Ayan, relation siya, because it composed of five ordered pairs. A clear way to express a relation is to form a set of ordered pairs. Sa so, paganto siya, ang ordered pairs, pwede ganito. Okay, pwede naman ganyan. Through listing, pero pwede rin ganito. Much better yung ginagato ginagamit namin. Natin, in uh, in, in uh, ordered pair. Ganito. New Year's Day, quit January 1. Labor Day, May 1. Independence, Independence Day, June 12. Bonifacio Day, November 30. And uh, Rizal Day, December 30. This set describe a relation. But because why? It composed of more than okay, at may mga ordered pairs. We have five ordered pairs and this is a relation. Okay. Ito pa oh. 2 and 3, 4 and 5. Okay. It's not a function but just set of ordered pairs. Yes. Set lang siya. Kasi dapat more than more than 3. Okay, more, than, more, than, more than two ang relation. Hindi pwedeng dalawa lang. Dalawang pares. Okay, we have also 1 and 4, 2 and 5, 3 and 6 is a relation. Bakit? Bakit relation sila? Ano yung mga x natin? Our x is there or our domain. Yan na, we will call it domain, yung x natin. So kapag may x ka, huwag mo sabihin na ex-girlfriend mo siya. She or he is your domain. Oh, para naman maiba naman na tayo. Ilan na yung ex mo mga ganun. Para din naman na hindi na pasosi naman tayo na ano na nagamitin na 
Ah, ilan na ang naging ex mo? No, no. Instead of saying, ilan na yung ex mo, we can say, ilan na yung domain mo? So, baka maloka sila, no? Ah, what's domain? Ganon. So, yon Dito, sa 1 and 4, 2 and 5, 3 and 6, our value or our domain, domain is nakaset na rin. In, uh, same is true with the, the range, which is y. So, ang mga domain natin, we have the x element. We have 1, 2, 3. Ito siya, oh. Magkakasamang mga x. Na all magkakasama. Our range also, we have 4, 5, 6. Ayan. So, pinagsama yung mga range. Pinagsama naman yung mga domains. So, those, and that is um, relation. So, relation, compose uh, ordered pairs na more than 2. We have also function. Function is connected to relation. Okay. A function is a rule that pairs each element in one set called the domain with exactly one element from a second set called the range. This means that for each first coordinate, there is exactly one second coordinate or for every first element of x, there is correspond a unique second element y. Huh? Anak ano? Function. Uh, ganito yan. Hindi lahat ng ay lahat ng really, ah, hindi lahat anong may term sila, may memes na nabasa ako eh. Kasi hindi la, lahat, hindi la, lahat ng uh, wait lang. Kasi may uh, bla 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 sabi doon tapos si hindi lahat ng relation nagpa-function. Ganun. Lahat ng function ay relation, pero hindi lahat ng relation function. Or doon tayo sa uh, perspective ng magpartner, hindi lahat ng relasyon, uh, lahat ng uh, lahat ng relasyon ay lahat ng uh, function ay relasyon, relation. Yeah. Pero hindi lahat ng relasyon or relation ay nagpa-function. Yun ay yung definition ng function and relation. Lahat ng function ay relation, pero hindi lahat ng relation nagpa-function. Hindi lahat sa relasyon nagpa-function 'yan. Ganon din po sa math. Hindi lahat ng ordered pairs na to ay function. Okay? Paano nga ba ma ma how could we define if the given ordered pairs are function or not function? Ayan. So, we using, ilan ba? Using for. Bakit at look? Bakit <laughs> Using 4, mali na yung pag-numbering ko. 1, 2, 3, 4. Using 4, we can represent functions uh, uh, using the 4, uh, four ano, steps or 4 procedures. Okay. The perimeter of a square is 4 times the length of its side. So, yan. So, yung perimeter down ng square is 4 times ng kanyang side. If, uh, if this, the perimeter of, if the sides of a square is 1, 3, 5, 4, and 9, so the perimeter is 4 times, so times 4 times 4. Okay, since, ayan, pwede mong gami, gawin yan ng ordered pair. We have 1 and 4, 3 and 12, 5 and 20, 7 and 28, and 9 and 36. Now, the question is, if is this a function? Does, uh, gawin mo tong x, ha? always. The first uh, column or row. Ayan. Yung first dito, this is x. Nay, no, sorry. This is x and the 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 data or the, the data here are y's or the uh, this is the domain and this is the range. Now, if we make this or into into an ordered pair, it will become 1 and 4, 3 and 12, 5 and 20. 7 and 28, 9 and 36. Now, the question is, is this a function or not function? Okay. 
This is a function. Function. Why? Ganito. Ito yung technique pag, para malaman kung ang is ang given na data or given na set ay function or, or not function. Kung naulit si x, hindi na siya function. Okay? Kahit maulit si y, wag lang si x. Tama ba? Okay. Kahit maulit-ulit si y, for example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, tapos 4, 4, uh, 20, 20, 36. Kahit na ulit si y dito, basta hindi maulit si x function yun. Ganun din sa relationship. Pag inulit mo pa si x, hindi na yung maganda. Hindi na yung happy. No? Kaya pag x, x na. Okay. So, kung dito naman na ulit si 1, suppose 1, 1, 5, 7, 9, not function. Kasi na ulit si x. Always, ignan natin si x. Kasi, hindi po, hindi po kahit x yan, eh wala nang ginawang mabuti yan sa'yo. Okay? So, kahit pa paano may ginawa namang mabuti si x, kaya bigyan mo naman ng importansya. At dito, nabibigyan ng, sa topic na to, nabibigyan ng importance si x na kapag naulit si x ay hindi na okay, hindi na function. Okay? Pero pag naulit si y, okay lang. Carry boom boom lang. Basta wag maulit si x, function po. Pero pag naulit si x, um, not function. This is a relation, yes. F uh, every function is a relation, but not all the function or all the relation is a function. So, that's using table. Next, we have also using ordered pairs. So, in ordered pairs lang natin, pag ganito ang ordered pairs, may comma, tapos may mga parenthesis. Ito naka-table-table -table siya. Ayan. So, ordered pairs. Now, this one, is this a function or not function? Tignan natin ang x. 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Naulit ba si x? Hindi. Si y, 4, 12, 20, 28, 36, hindi din naulit. Pero, focus lang tayo kay x, which is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And that is not function. Ah, that is a function. Why? Hindi na ulit si x. Walang na ulit ni isa sa x. Kaya, function siya. Third one, we have also mapping. This is a third, ah. Mapping. Ito yung connect-connect naman. Is this a, is this a function? Sabi dito, this is a function. Bakit? Hindi na ulit si x. Once lang siyang naituro na doon sa po dito. These are the x's and these are the y's. These are the range, are the domain and these are the range. Ayan. So, paganyan lang. Okay. Pero pag dito, mayroon pang arrow na napunta kay 12, hindi na siya, fu hindi na siya function. Kasi, Ang maging ordered pair is 1, 4, tapos 1, 12. Naulit si 1 kapag pag may ganito pa dito. May arrow pa or it's either this 1, 3. May arrow pa sa 4. Hindi na yun function. Relation na po. Uh, not function na siya. Okay? So, this is fun, wait, this is function. This, yeah, this is, this is function. Kasi hindi na ulit si x. Next one, we have through graphing naman. Paano natin malalaman dito na ang isang graph using the Cartesian plane is a function or not function? Using the vertical line test. What's vertical? Patayo. Paganito. Pa, 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 patayo. Okay. Sige, magbigay ako ng example. Open lang ako ng... para mas maintindihan. Ayan. Magdodrawing tayo ng Cartesian. Ayan. So, talaga mata masyado. Kasi, lang natin. Okay, this is the Cartesian. What are the, anong tawa, asan yung x? 
team X. Okay, always this is the X, and this is the Y. Okay, the horizontal are the X, and the vertical is the Y. Anong vertical line test? Yan tong vertical line test pa tayo. Okay? Yan tong vertical line test. Suppose the graph is... Ano yung graph sa example? Ang graph is pa ganyan. Okay. So, lagyan na lagyan lagyan ng R. Sige, arrow daw para masabing Cartesian. Ayan. So, yung graph is pa ganito. Ayan. Ayan. Is this a function or not function? You can define if this is a function or not function using the vertical line test. Okay, using the vertical line test. Paano natin malalaman? Vertical line test, patayo, pa ganun. So, mag-vertical line test tayo. Mag-vertical line test ako dito. Ayan. Ilan beses natamaan yung graph? Huwag mong isali itong itong linya ng Cartesian, ha? Huwag niyong isali ito. Ito lang sa graph. Ilang beses tamaan yung graph? Dalawa. We have here. And we have here. Dalawa. Guys, pag dalawa, kapag two times natamaan ang isang graph. Okay, yan. Two. Or more. Okay, lagay natin dito not function. Okay, pero pag 1 function. Okay, pag dalawa or higit pang natamaan yung graph, isa siyang not function. Pero pag once lang function siya. Suppose here dalawa na touch meaning this is this graph is not not function. Ne? So yeah, not function. Not function siya kasi two times na tamaan yung graph. Okay po, ganun po siya. Next. Pero paan naman pag Oh wait lang. Uh, another, another. Erase lang natin. Okay. So vertical line test lang ang gagamitin guys ha make an uh, imaginary kung ilan. Basta two times na touch ang isang graph, not function siya. Pero pag isa lang, function siya. Let's make another Cartesian. Ito yung Cartney. Wait lang. Ayan yung Cartesian natin. Tapos, ang graph tayo. Suppose the graph is this one. Parabola. Eh. <laughs> Ayan. Bangit ng pagkadawin. Wait nga lang. Oh, basta ganyan na lang. Okay. This is a parabola. This is the graph. Ah, this is that is the the yeah the graph um represent a quadratic equation. Okay. Paano kapag uh, using vertical line test malalaman natin kung this is a function or not function. So draw ako ng straight line. Ilang beses na touch yung graph? Isa lang. Ito lang siya function. Sige, sabi natin, ah, okay, isang beses, function siya. I'm not satisfied, eh. Gawa pa ako ng another another experiment. Itouch ko siya. Okay. Gawa ako ng another uh, vertical line test. Itouch ko siya. Ilang beses na touch? Isa. Hindi pwedeng pag adin mo to, hindi pwede yon. Once, ganun-ganun lang. Hindi yung iba yon. meaning, tanggal na to. Iba na naman, ganun. Hindi perfect 
nag-line line line kay nang ganyan eh pag aadin niya lahat ng ilan hindi pwede yon so nagtouch isa lang na touch function another qual try function so meaning this graph is a function bakit kasi every time na ginagawa mo yung vertical line test once lang natatouch yung graph kaya this is a function gets ganun po yon Ayan. So, sabi dito, using vertical line test, that is, a set of points in the plane is the graph of a function if and only if no vertical line intersects sex the, the graph in more than one point. Below, in figure A, this figure is an example, uh, is not a function. So, hindi siya function because if you make a vertical line test here, two times matatouch yung graph. Another, two times ulit, two times ulit. So that I those are the four basic concept of mathematics. We have the set, we have the fun the relation, the function. Ah uh, yeah, the function. Mak ah, pang apat yung uh, the function and yeah, the relation function. Tapos next na yung operations with functions. So. By next video, we will be discussing the operations with function. So, that's it for today. Thank you and God bless. Don't forget to click the subscribe button kung di pa kayo nakasubscribe and then the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos na i-upload ko. So, thank you.